Welcome back our dear viewers, a group of young engineers were working for a whole year on designing, manufacturing and testing a race car so they can compete with it in the Formula Students competition to, which took place on the 19th till the 21st of July on the Silverstone circuit in the United Kingdom. The goal of the contest is uh, to design, build and race a formula style single seater racing car providing the undergraduates with the invaluable real world project experience as they begin their engineering career. Uh, the ASU racing team became the first Egyptian and Arab team, was ranked second in the business uh, logic case, a third in the efficient car internal co uh, combustion engine, the ICE, and fourth in cost in manufacturing, the ICE, and the sixth in cost and manufacturing EV, electric vehicle, and the sixth in the overall efficient a car. Uh, to shed more light, we are having two uh, from the business uh, team members. We have uh, Yusuf Mohamed Galel and Yara Mohamed Hassin. Hello, thank you for you. joining us. Uh, before starting our interview, we'll having uh, the support to tell us more about uh, this uh, car, and after that, we'll uh, start our interview right away. A student racing team from Ain Shams University has unprecedentedly realized a number of achievements in Formula Student Engineering competition in the UK and a fierce contest with other prestigious universities from across the globe. The competitions bring students from around the world to put their engineering skills to the test and design a functional small-scale Formula-style race car. The ASU racing team participated in the competition by the two sub-teams made several victories as they won the second place award in the Business Logic Case Award and their third place in Efficient Car in Internal Combustion Energy, fourth in Coast and Manufacturing in ICE, sixth in Electrical Vehicle and the sixth rank in Efficient Car. ASU racing team ranked 22nd in the ICE and 37th in the EV in overall among 122 participating teams worldwide. According to a press statement, the ASU racing team was established in 2011 under the supervision of several lecturers and professors at the Faculty of Engineering in Ain Shams University alongside a group of aspiring and victory students. The team was the first African and Arab group to win a Formula Student Engineering BLC award in 2016, having ranked second a year earlier. By 2017 and 2018, they succeeded to be one of the best three BLC teams. The ASU racing team was early enough to participate in other dynamic events, such as racing at the famous Silverstone circuit in the UK, competing with other participating universities from all over the world and snatching the 28th place trophy. The team also won the 14th place in the global Shell Echo Marathon contest, producing a completely electric vehicle, competing against several participating teams from the MENA region. They also won the safety award from the off-track list in 2017. Based on scientific research, the team's ultimate goal is a better future for the automotive industry in Egypt along with manufacturing the first completely fully Egyptian vehicle racing ever closer to their goals. And to shed light about uh, this uh, car and uh, more, we are uh, now joined by uh, Yusuf and Yara. Uh, we'll start with uh, uh, Yusuf. Yusuf, can you tell us uh, uh, more about um, the uh, your evaluation of the education system uh, as during the uh, last celebration of the Science Day, President Abdel Fattah Sisi affirmed that education and science will remain on the top uh, priorities of the state. How do you evaluate the educational uh, system in Egypt now? We evaluate the educational system in Egypt that is uh, sometimes good, but we always see that there's, uh, there is a gap between the practical life and uh, what we uh, study in the college the or technical in the school. And the yes. Uh, the so that's why what we do in uh, Ancient University Racing Team, we are able to make uh, the engineers uh, go into practical experience. So when they go to their uh, working experience, they, we, we don't see a gap between yeah. the study and what they make in practical life. Mm. Uh, same question to you here, uh, Yara. How do you see the educational uh, system in Egypt uh, today and 
What more are you expecting to happen uh, in the coming uh, years as it is a main concern of the Egyptian administration? I'm expecting to have more to to concentrate more on the projects and mm -hmm. the internship mm -hmm. and uh, and really uh, taking care of the or how can we uh, develop the the practical life uh, uh, through through our education not only studying and having exam no we can have also project that really can help us like uh, like racing team mm. um, so I think it's, it's same like uh, Yusuf said mm. that this is really the point that uh, we need to develop ah, yes uh, um, uh, Yusuf uh, can you tell us more about this uh, vehicle that uh, you, you did invent and the competition w w uh, how did the, the idea of this uh, car did uh, come to your uh, the, to the brain of your uh, teammates and you uh, uh, tell us the process here uh, Ain Shams University Racing Team started by an idea of a graduation project team yeah. in 2010. They thought why we, would, we can make a formula car and compete with it in a formula student uh, in UK. Mm. Uh, and then our professor thought that is uh, a very good idea and started to develop on it and to be, make it something that we make it annually every year. And uh, we make an organization in which it compete in this competition. Mm. Uh, we started in 2010 mm. and now uh, the competition itself uh, each university from over the world, there is 122 uh, mm. universities that compete in this competition. Uh, each university make a Formula Student car, which is uh, similar to the Formula mm. One car, but with lower quality. Uh, and then we compete in two main events, dynamic events, uh, like endurance and acceleration, something more technical and uh, mm. related to the car. Mm. And there is static events, uh, like design event, cost and manufacturing event, and business event, in which we are members at. In the business event, we achieved second place, mm. and coastal manufacturing, we achieved the fourth, uh, the fourth place, uh, and that's how we started. Uh, and we had a long journey. We started from the 72nd in our first uh, participation, and now we are the 22nd overall. That's great, uh, Yara. Can you tell us uh, why at the beginning uh, did you decide to join the electrical department at the university? Um, First, when I when I went to uh, when I w have the time to decide which department uh, should I take, uh, we have like a prep, uh, a prep year. This prep year, we take many subjects from different departments. And then when I found the electrical um, the electric subjects that I really love and I'm into with, I'm interested in, in studying it. I decided to to go in deep and uh, and study the electrical. Yeah. Uh, same question to you here, uh, um, uh, Yusuf. Why at the beginning did you uh, uh, um, decide to uh, join the electrical uh, department uh, in the university? I think it's the same as Yara. When we first enter the, the university, you see different departments and different subjects. You see what subjects you like the most. I found myself really interested in subjects mm. similar like circuits and so mm. on. Uh, and so that's why I've chosen the electrical department to enter. Yes. Uh, Yara, the question for you here, how did you first participate in this competition? Uh, in other words, uh, would you tell us more the story of your team? Uh, how did you join and why? Uh, uh, like uh, um, uh, the question uh, before it said that we're from 2010, yes. there were a group of engineers and yes. they decided uh, to, to start a racing mm. car as the graduation project. Mm. Uh, since then, they participate in a formula student uh, student uh, UK, yeah. and however, the doctor really supported uh, supported us and decided to uh, to participate in many more international international competition, not just formula student UK. We participate in uh, Chal Eco Marathon mm. and ROV, a reported uh, uh, um, uh, an operated uh, vehicle. It's it's underwater vehicle, mm. and also the the. the the, the fourth comp international competition, yes, uh, we the hybrid electric vehicle. Yeah. It's, it's a hybrid, it's not only electric, yes. it's electric and ICE. Mm, yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, Yusuf here, uh, what was this year's uh, theme in the competition? Uh, the competition itself is more like uh, a simulation for the Formula One. Mm. Uh, we enter the competition with uh, several universities. As I told you, it's 122 uh, universities that compete. Each uh, university uh, engineer its own car, and yeah. we start competing in two in the two main events, dynamic and static events. Mm -hmm. For each event, it has its own scoring, and then they calculate the overall score and make the ranking for the overall in the competition. Mm -hmm. uh, we are proudly the first uh, university in the Middle East and North Africa, and we are the 22nd overall, and we are eager to develop and improve and get a higher ranking in the future. Yeah, uh, Yara. Um, 
what are the achievements you uh, did realize during that competition? Uh, the achievements, like uh, personal achievements or the, the team achievement? Okay. Um, uh, we are the 22nd worldwide and yeah. we are the first Arab and uh, Arab team and an African team mm -hmm. uh, and we are the fourth in in, uh, in coaster manufacturer for the ICE car and mm -hmm. the sixth for the, the EV car and we got the third efficient car overall and the 37th uh, uh, overall also and worldwide for the EV car yeah. uh, so uh, how far this is our whole achievement and of course we have passed mm -hmm. all the, the static events uh, safely and, and great. Yes. Uh, Yusuf, uh, what achievement here did you reach on the personal level from joining this competition? Uh, we have learned a lot we, when we enter the competition and deal with different people from different mm. countries, from different cultures and different backgrounds. Yes. Uh, you learn, you feel like there is no huge difference between us and them. Uh, it's not that, uh, that much of experience or knowledge that, uh, that matters. We have mm. maybe the same knowledge. Maybe there is other difference between us and them, but we have learned a lot from the competition on a personal level or on a technical level. Uh, and that's why uh, this mm. is the goal of, the, of entering this competition. Indeed. Uh, Yara, uh, you are representing the Business uh, Logic uh, Case team. Would you tell us more about it? Uh, business logic case actually is made for the engineers because uh, all their knowledge is all about technicals. So mm. they decided to integrate the technicals with mm. the real life or how to, can you really start your project uh, or start your own business. Uh, so you do a business plan, a whole business plan from A to Z, market research, um, uh, allocation, uh, finances, and, mm. uh, and you have to calculate everything and make, and make your own uh, uh, your own your own company yeah. uh, and write a document and then there is a 10 minute presentation mm -hmm. and that's where they, they decide um, they judge you on on the 10 minutes presentation that you made with every details included in in the in the 10 minutes presentation mm -hmm. uh, so so far that's what's the business uh, Yusuf um, what does in your opinion make your presentation distinguished uh, than uh, the other proposed uh, presentations uh, I think we're a very hard working team. Mm. We start working before the competition by like eight or nine months. Mm. We start working and make an intensive market research to mm. choose with which country we, we should enter as a target market and mm. so on. We work hard on our presentation. Uh, it teamwork? A yes, of uh, course. Of, uh, yes, uh, uh, many students. Yes, we are like uh, 40 members in the former student uh, team and we are 400 members in the uh, Champs Racing team overall, uh, divided in other mm. sub-teams. If we are talking about the, the business and our presentation, we think we have a good presentation skills. We have the help of our uh, alumni, which are the old people members. who are the old members who participated before in the competition, yes. uh, who help us a lot, and we rehearse in the front doctor. of them. Uh, and of course, the doctors who help us in, in, uh, in this stuff. Mm. Uh, so that's why we, we think that we we able to, uh, to develop and get the, uh, the high rankings in the yes. competition. Yara, uh, uh, how did you improve your presentation skills? Uh, like uh, he said that we always do uh, uh, we have at the first of the academic year a learning phase and mm -hmm. through this learning phase we get an instructor so they can teach us how to really present properly uh, at the end of the year we do write a script and through a whole month we we rehearse and and we we mm. memorize those scripts the, the whole months and we uh, and we really um, work mm. on how we how we work, uh, how to move your hands how to pronounce the the the, the script and all of this uh, through the whole months before the presentation. Yeah, uh, Yusuf, how was the competition this year and who were the team's top competitors? Uh, we have several competitors in the in the competition. Mm. Uh, as I've told you, they are from different countries from all over the world, mm. from Germany, France, and England. Mm. But if we're talking more about uh, the, the business, as is our team, uh, our competitors were from the, uh, uh, from the United Kingdom. We were the only team outside the United Kingdom to be the finalists in the business presentation. Uh, our direct competitors were University of Oxford Brookes, uh -huh. Sheffield University, uh, University of Glasgow, and University of Swansea. Yes. Yara, what are the challenges that faced you and how did you overcome it? Uh, AS Racing team is always facing challenges Indeed, and, and several course. challenges. Uh, first of them, the shipping, the shipping problem. We have so we, we mm. pay so much to ship the two cars from uh, from Cairo to UK. We pay like two hundred thousand mm -hmm. pounds for each car, 
uh, and this is takes so much. So we need a lot of sponsors and we need a lot of funds. Was it easy to, cover. to to have sub, uh, sponsors? No, actually, it's not easy at all. Uh, and we really suffer if if our car takes like half million th uh, half million pounds. Uh, the other team, who's from Germany and France, take like one million dollars. So this is really affect the efficiency. Mm. And and also we work on having the best quality with the least expenses possible. That's great. Actually. Yes, and that's why we took the first in mm. car uh, last year. We took the first in custom manufacture because we are doing something with a high quality with the least price. Yeah, that's actually great. Um, uh, uh, for you, Yusuf, how can this type of competitions add to the value of our national educational institutions? And what are the skills gained by working in this organization, the ASU uh, Racing Team? Uh, well, this competition uh, produces engineers who have uh, practical skills and practical no knowledge. Mm -hmm. So when they, they, they start entering the market and start working in, in top companies, they have the quality, they have the experience, they started making manufacturing a car from, mm. from the scratch. So that's something won't be available to any engineer from other university except the one who participates in this competition. Mm. So we're proudly uh, produce engineers who have the top quality to be working in any company in the world. Yes, Yara, after the winning, what happened uh, to the project and how can we get benefit from it uh, uh, on the local front? Uh, actually, we, we, we cannot we cannot sell the project or yes. we cannot make like a company for the project yes. in Egypt yeah. because there is no uh, a motorsports awareness yes. in, in Egypt mm. and and also the economy does not mm. um, will not affect this. Uh, so uh, we, we have our car each year in our workshop and we use some parts of it for the new car. Mm. Uh, each year, actually, we each year make a new car mm. uh, all from scratch. Uh, so we, we use some parts of it in, in the new car. Yusuf, what are your uh, future plans? Well, for me, uh, I think I have achieved, uh, I'm really proud of what I have achieved as a team. We have achieved second place in a business competition competing with uh, several universities from around the world. Uh, I have uh, one year left in, in my college, so I want to develop in myself to be able to uh, meet the market needs and so on. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's, I think, what my, my plan for the future. Yes, and uh, finally, Yara, same question mm -hmm. for you here. Uh, what are your future plans? Uh, my future plans is to ha for, for the team, actually, is to have a higher rankings uh, and to work more on our car with, the, with getting the best quality possible if we actually have the, the, the good yes. fund that really helps us. Yes, indeed. Uh, Yara Mohammed Hussein and Yusuf Mohammed Gayel, both uh, business team members, uh, thank you very much for thank joining you. us and thank we are you. really proud of you guys. And thank best you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And with that, I'll give you to come to the end of this edition of Carol Local Time. You were in the company of myself, Maestro Abiyah, signing off.